is really scary. We have to jump. I can't. I don't know why we do this to ourselves. Well, we obviously got extra excited with the snow all around us and decided to go on a trek. Which was extremely scary given the snow and the steep climb and how slippery it was getting. It was sliding. <laughs> Kid you not, the trail was completely lost because of the fresh snow and we were making our way as we climbed with the help of a local guide of course. But the death trap we signed up for was quite worth it when we saw the frozen waterfall. Iced water shining like crystals hanging from the stones like spikes. Never seen anything like this before. There's no better feeling than a burning hot bonfire after an extensive trek in the snow. We spent the last day of 2020 exploring on our feet, found this wonderful spot high up in the mountains, sitting inside a forest, reflecting on why we came here in the first place. But now I want to go home. Yeah. Now I miss my house. Tera interview chalu hai. It's good to be back in the mountains. It's been too long since I visited him actually. Dhai saal ho gaya abhi. So had to come back. Don't regret it at all. <laughs> this is my fixed time. I always travel between 23rd till 2nd. If I stay in one place for too long, I get lethargic. Not being able to travel for 8 months was too much for you. And of course, the last time when we were in North, we prayed and hoped it would snow and it didn't. Also, this place is spectacular. <laughs> 2020 was really hard uh, on me and I found myself in a really dark place. And I was, you know, losing myself. It was just like one thought crossed my mind, you know, I have to get out of this. So this trip made a lot of sense. One month in Himachal has calmed me so much. And I've been able to collect all the strength that I need now to face the world when I go back. I think we all have our reasons and an underlying purpose for why we love the mountains. But the truth is, it's got nothing to do with the view and everything to do with you.